Hello guys, I'm south of a river in London. I'm wearing light blue. That's because I'm in Brixton at the end of the Victoria Line here in London. Sit back, relax, enjoy this journey with me here in Brixton. We are here in Tunstall Road and I want to show you a mural of a very famous musician and legendary son of Brixton. The mural of David Bowie here in Brixton. You'll recognize this as the cover of his 1973 album Aladdin Sane. And it was created by Australian artist Jimmy C or James Cochran three years before Bowie passed away actually so this was created in 2013 Bowie passed away in 2016 and this has since become a focal point for people who want to pay homage to Bowie pay their respects forever immortalized here thanks to James Cochran Jimmy C so I'm not going to take you to the house where David Bowie was born which is in 40 Stansfield Road but the interesting thing about getting from his house to his mural is first you've got to turn to the left and then you've got to turn to the right from his uh, song Fashion and you can see that roundel of the underground there, the big one I believe that is the biggest roundel on the entire tube network here in London here in Brixton. So the name Brixton is said to derive from Brixy Stain or something like that. It's a bit of a tongue twister. So, but it essentially means the stone of Brixy. Brixy was a Saxon lord. Brixy is said to have erected a boundary stone which marked the meeting place or the meeting point of a lot of parishes in the area. So the ancient Brixton 100 court. This is St. Matthew's Church here in Brixton. It's known as a Waterloo Church. So after Waterloo, the victory in 1815, there was a church act that was passed in 1818. More churches was built in England. So I mentioned the Battle of Waterloo, 1815. The next year in 1816, Vauxhall Bridge was opened and Vauxhall Bridge played an instrumental role in connecting Brixton to wider London as a result of more people moving into the area as well. They needed to build more churches. This was one of them and it was completed in 1824. And this is the church from another angle. And another interesting fact about this church is that it is where John Major, the former Prime Minister of the UK, married his wife Norma here in 1970. So John Major grew up here in Brixton and his father was Tom Major Ball, a music entertainer and a circus performer. And it's rumoured that David Bowie, who you also now know is from Brixton as well, saw a poster of Tom Major Ball and that that was the inspiration for his character Major Tom but that's only a rumor it's not confirmed today there's also a playground out here and I've read online I don't know if this is true but this is also a torture garden per occasion so the fetish nightclub with whips and chains and balls and all that kind of stuff so yeah, it's a bit, bit of a weird one to be in a church, but anyway, there you go. And here we've got Ephra Road. And I want to tell you something interesting about Ephra Road, or more specifically, the river that flows underneath the road called the Ephra. So the Ephra today is part of a wider London sewage system, which starts in Crystal Palace and flows out in Vauxhall, in the River Thames. And there's the story that in Victorian times there was a coffin that was seen floating on the River Thames and when they inspected the coffin Oh gosh So much noise here going on Ambulances and fire I wonder what's going on Anyways So the coffin was seen floating on the River Thames and when they inspected the coffin 
they realized that it was from West Norwood Cemetery and the staff at West Norwood Cemetery were so bemused and so amazed that this coffin was seen on the river because the tomb was undisturbed but what happened was the coffin actually went down to the river because the ground collapsed underneath it so there you go story about Ephra Road and as you've noticed there just earlier there's a lot of noise traffic a lot of police and sirens and ambulances so I wonder what's going on here you've got Henry Tate the famous sugar merchant who introduced sugar cubes to Britain in 1875 but I think you might know him better as the guy who opened the Tate Gallery in 1897 which is today the Tate Britain he also opened this library here in Brixton Henry Tate here you've got the Ritzy Cinema in Brixton one of the first purpose-built cinemas in the UK it used to be called the Electric Pavilion established in 1911 so I mentioned Electric Pavilion keep the word electric in the back of your mind for now because there's a bit of an electric theme here in Brixton and originally there was a theatre outside here and you can see the foundation stone of a the theatre right here the stone laid by Henry Irving so the theatre was bombed by the Germans in World War II Brixton was heavily bombed so the theatre was completely destroyed in World War II which allowed the Ritzy to expand and take up some space where the theatre used to be the Ritzy. I mentioned that Brixton was heavily bombed in World War II and the area was regenerated in large part thanks to the Windrush generation that arrived from the Caribbean in subsequent years. The ship, the Empire Windrush, arrived in Britain in 1948 carrying 1,027 passengers plus two stowaways and you can learn about it here at the Black Cultural Archives here in Brixton Black History Tube Map and the Black Cultural Archives at the end there at the, the Brixton stop on the Victoria history thank you very much sir yeah. appreciate it thank you sir okay. have a nice day thank you so black history every day over here here at black cultural archives Here you've got Claudia Jones in steel and copper. And Claudia Jones was a leader of Britain's civil rights movements and founded the St Pancras later Notting Hill Carnival in 1959. This square here was renamed Windrush Square to celebrate its Afro-Caribbean community. Tilbury 1948 so that's the year that the Windrush docked in Tilbury in Essex the full name of the Windrush ship was the HMT Empire Windrush HMT stands for hired military transport bizarrely it was used by the Germans before it became a British ship it was used by the Germans in World War II as a troop ship it was called MV Monte Rosa MV stands for motor vessel and it's often forgotten that the Windrush generation served in the wars as well World War I and World War II but here is a memorial to those who served in the war 
servicemen and women from Africa and the Caribbean. And here's another shot of Windrush Square. The Windrush generation was instrumental in rebuilding London after the war. And there's a large Afro-Caribbean community here in Brixton. So let me tell you a little bit more about the history of Brixton. In the 1860s, the railways further connected Brixton to other parts of London and of England. In the 1880s and 1890s, if you were Victorian middle class, this was the place to be. In 1877, the first purpose-built department store in the UK was established here in Brixton, Bon Marche. And of course, as we'll see in a second, the electricity theme or electric theme that I mentioned earlier will become prominent. Oh, check that London bus there. Looks different from the other red ones. Yeah, you've got another mural of Michelle Obama, which is graffitied over. But I know that this was done by local artist Dreff to promote Michelle's autobiography becoming at the time but uh, someone has uh, graffitied over it and some more street art over here as well very colorful place Brixton lots of art graffiti and over here a message as well uh, stay in peace paintball for seven pounds per person we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue Yes, we're in Electric Avenue, the first market street in England to have electricity. You do have some nice markets here in Electric Avenue. And so I sang the song Electric Avenue a bit earlier, or tried to sing it at least. So of course Eddie Grant wrote it. He wrote it on the back of the 1981 Brixton riots. And it was released in 1982. And in 1983, it was nominated for a Grammy in the category of Best R&B Song, but it lost out eventually to Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Here, yeah, Eddie Grant and Electric Avenue. Bedding and hair and beauty. A lot of fish and meat stores. Here you can see a lot of Caribbean and African food, but there's also a large South American community here in Brixton. A lot of people from Colombia. Lots of fruits and veg. Right, we are here at Pope's Road where we can go into Brixton Village. But before we go into the village, I just want to show you again another mural here. The mural is of Michael Johns, who was a caretaker here of a public toilet and a legend of a community. And again, forever immortalized here in Brixton. So, Brixton Market actually includes Brixton Village, as well as Reliance Arcade and Market Row. There's a holiday in South Yes, so this used to be called Granville Arcade, and it's recently been rebranded as Brixton Village. And you can see here, yeah, lots of people out enjoying food and drink. Here you got a Senegalese place. Look at that. Made in Brixton. Some place is closed because it's Sunday, but you get the idea. Latin and Caribbean food, Brixton party shop. Peer pressure and some more street art so what do you think of Brixton let me know in the comments I quite like it if someone's decided to have a washing day or something trying out some bedding look at that Asmara restaurant so Asmara the capital of Eritrea 
Eritrean food and drink you can get there. That's a little whiskey shop. And look, if I want to go home to Brighton, I just follow the sign on the A23 and I'll be home. Or I'll just take the train and the bus later, so even though there's rail replacement works, I'll still get there in good time. Right, so here's the entrance of Market Row. Let's check it out. Some la -di da dining that's going to take place here later. Express Cafe. I just love the ceiling here. In Market Row, it looks magnificent. And Brixton Foodland. They are shut, but clearly a very tropical vibe. And so here's Reliance Arcade. The other main market or arcade, but it's shut today. But you can see the Egyptian style architecture, Egyptian motif on this side. And just opposite Market Row, Reliance Arcade, a rainbow themed entrance. Right and calling. And this is where I'll end my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Brixton. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you again soon.